In this example, we want to determine the confidence interval of some parameters for a linear regression analysis. So here are our data, and it's always a good idea to graph the data, see what they look like. So highlight the cells, we go to insert, and we do a scatter graph. So this is our data here. I move this over here. So we've got on the x-axis, we've got the x, the x values. These are the independent uh, values. On, on y, we've got the y values. And this basically is a graph that shows us the dependent value y in correlation to the independent value x. And uh, we see there's a little bit of scatter going on, and we can find the parameters of this linear regression line, of this line of best fit, by right-clicking one of the points and then add trend line. We go for the R-square value and the uh, display the equation on the line. And we see here is the line of best fit. That's our trend line. Um, that is what has been calculated by Excel with the regression analysis pack. Uh, we see that we've got a negative value for the gradient here. So let's call this gradient M. That's the gradient M. So that's M. And we've got a positive we've got also a negative value here for the intercept uh, with the y-axis, and we can write basically y equals mx plus c. That would be our straight line for this trend line for this line of best fit. Uh, we also see that we've got an r-square value of 0.947, which indicates that we've got 94.7% of the data of the y values are explained by x. And we would say this is a strong negative correlation. That is the conclusion that we can draw. Now, we need to be clear that this, the, the values for the gradient and the intercept have some errors in it, um, because this is just one line of best fit that we can draw for these data sets. And if we just change a little bit one of the, the points, we would get a, a slightly different line of best fit. So we would have a whole population of lines of best fit, and we would have a whole set of gradients, slopes, and intercepts. So what we are actually trying to do now is we want to find out the 95% confidence interval for the gradient and the same for the y-intercept. So how can we do that? Well, luckily, uh, Excel has an excellent tool uh, that we can use. So if we go to data and look for something that is called data analysis here up there. If you haven't installed it, you probably should do so. And I will leave a link to how you do that in the description to this video. So let's go to data analysis, click on it. And there are a number of programs that we can use. We will go for what is called regression. Okay, so regression. Let's do a regression analysis. So the program asks us for the input of the Y range. So we just um, left mouse click and I take the label here, the Y in the first cell, I take it with 
uh, with us. So left mouse, left mouse click, drag it down here. Now we are asked for the X range. We do the same, including the label, drag it down like that. We have included labels, so we need to tick that box and we want a confidence level at 95%. And we use uh, the output on the same page. I want to start, let's say here, with the output in A16. Okay, looks good. So let's run the regression analysis. And what we see here is we actually get the data. Uh, we get an R squared value here in this output, in the summary output of 94.67, which is pretty much what we got here. So that's a good thing. We have an observation of nine data and we've got indeed nine data points. And now here starts the magic because we get confidence uh the coefficients and the confidence interval for our parameters so we get the intercept and we got also what they call x which is basically the slope of the uh, line of best fit so we've got here the value for the gradient which is negative 0 0.72 and we can compare that with the value that we've got here we got negative 0 0.72 so that is correct uh, we also have the coefficient of uh, for the intercept which is negative 2.756 and again we get this here from our output so far so good because this is something that we already got with our trend line uh, equation but here comes the great stuff because we also get the upper and the lower limits for our parameters so if we look at this value here, this would be the actually lower limit for our gradient. So the gradient would be for the population, for the true population standard uh, curve or line of best fit. So it would be somewhere between negative 0.8 seven five to negative zero point five six nine so the true population gradient for all the potential uh, liners of best fit would be somewhere between this one he uh, value here and this value here and likewise we can calculate the confidence interval for the intercept and again we've got here the values so it is somewhere between negative 4.1 let's round this to 8 and negative 1 1.33 so that is the 95% confidence interval for the y-intercept. That is the 95% confidence interval for the, uh, for the gradient, which we get here uh, with this uh, analysis tool pack. And uh, so this indicates how we can actually look at this trend line as I said, it is a whole population of trend lines, which we don't know the parameter, but we can make an estimate for the 95% confidence interval for these data. So I hope this makes sense and thank you very much for watching.